Hi, welcome back. And we're so on gender. So on news and gender. No, I want to see gender get hurt. I just want to see him lose the title. That's it. Imagine how guilty we all feel if we find out gender is right, actually. So your plan is for him. Oh no! Don't don't do this. No, we'll do some conversation on this. No, 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 no. This this is gonna happen. This is, this is gonna be video proof of this conversation happening again. So you actually want gender <laughs> to life. vacate the WWE Championship without having been beaten for it at this point? No, I want him to work for it. What? Without him being injured. No, I want Without him being injured where he has to take time off. No, I want him to work for it. And then when he gets injured too badly, lose it in like a 5 10 second match. And then go back to Royal when he comes back like the embarrassment he is. Yeah, that's not what he said this morning. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, it's because I outsmarted him this morning. No, he didn't. Yes. At this point, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter who takes it off gender. If it's a bias or a person, because either way, that person is going to have to work the belt back up anyway. So yeah, and a bias is not actually a real person. No, but the person that wins it. A bias, vacant, whatever, whichever, whatever word you want to use for it. The person. It's, it's not an actual person. The belt is just sitting on a. I, I guess in WWE's mind, vacant looks like a pedestal the, with a cloth on top. The person who wins it, Al basically. We'll have to build a belt back up anyway, so it doesn't matter if they, if they take it from Jinder or an Alvin can see. And then Jinder can come back as a beloved. Yeah, so you'd still give Jinder the moniker of the champ that wasn't actually beaten. Even why though, he has to get rematched. So. The champ that wasn't actually beaten for his title. Right. He would just lose his rematch. He, right. When he came back. Yeah. So, he wouldn't lose it in the ring. No. Did, did, did you think that's a little bit of a problem? I do. But if it doesn't involve, if, if it means the less we have to see of Jinder in the ring, I want to take that problem. Believe me. At this point. I'll put Paul on Twitter over the weekend. How many of you want to see Jinder in the ring? If you say yes, I, I know a psychiatrist. Uh, First off, nobody wants to see Jinder in the ring. Well, this is the cut. This is the hand we're dealt. Well, there Nobody you, wants to see it. Well, there you go. But this is the hand we're dealt. If Jinder, if Jinder doesn't lose the WWE Championship without being pinned, and has to vacate it due to injury, I don't think that would make the title belt seem stronger. Neither one is going to seem stronger. Or you? him just vacating it because you don't want to see it. Neither one's going to make him look, make the belt look stronger. The best chance for the belt to be actually stronger after Jinder loses it is for him to be pin, pinned clean in the ring. Yeah, I or agree. Sub, or submission victory. I agree. Yeah. So then why are we having this conversation? Who the hell wants a tournament? I'm you just, were in a tournament! I'm, you just said it! <laughs> I'm saying worst case scenario, if the kid gets injured over the weekend, wrestling. He's in India. That's for me. No, he's in India doing our press tour for the Indian tour coming up for Raw. Oh, well, that, if that's the case. I, I've literally seen it on social media. Oh, well, if that's the case, well, I hope he's enjoying his time in India. And if he can't make it back in time for SmackDown, then we get an all episode like this week. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anybody knows the difference in SmackDown this week? Oh, should I wait for that? Yes. This uh, is not the video to do it for. Alright, back to Raw. The play right now for the group. I didn't make my comments about it. Abigail, so. I have one on that. Uh, the play right now for the Cruiserweight title is to get the title back on Enzo Amore. Turn the rest on Zerber. Because the show is still going to be built around him. Then why take it off in the first place? <laughs> because it was anger is perfect. <laughs> Just calls in. Just because you found out what Super Cal's birthday was. Doesn't mean you have a title change for the sake of having a title change because it's his birthday. <laughs> no, wait, I think Pops got the Lucha Rose produced. A Guerrero was a super Cal. Stop though. spitting, too. A Guerrero was a super Cal. I, I, no, I was being ridiculous to make a point. Shut up. Hold on. Nobody wants to know Super Cal's birthday. I mean, what I'm saying is, just, if you find out Super Cal's birthday, 
doesn't mean you make it to Cruiserweight title change that day because uh, it's his birthday and you want to celebrate it. Yeah, oh no, I, I agree with that because I'm not uh, Yeah, Eddie Guerrero is considered much considerably more important than Super Calo was. No, I agree. But the point remains the same. Oh yeah, you're definitely right. All you're doing is actually exploiting Eddie more after his death than you already have. On February 22nd, somebody should win a championship because it is Super Cali's birthday. Yes. You know what? I'm such a good guy for Super Cali oh. that I will actually look up when February 22nd will be. Yeah, don't be Uh, February 22nd will be a Thursday, I believe. Uh, so, somebody on Impact, Impact should lose should win a title because it's Super Cali's birthday. Yeah. You heard it here at Norholm. Uh -huh. Nor Nor well, let's see. Well, you want, you mentioned Super Cali. <laughs> Did you like Super Cali? No, he was the first person that came to mind. Over who the two, our, our, like hosts. No, I wanted I went to go uh, like out there. Like, now I'm thinking about it, Viano Long 4, Long Viano 5, 5 Liz El Mark. Dandy, Liz Mark Jr. Right, Silver King. Exactly. Uh, Asuka. Cyclope. Asuka. Because it's been playing... Asuka's not a cruiserweight. Because Emma's been playing all along to be Asuka. It is somebody's birthday today, so happy birthday to people out there now. Yes. Uh, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Right. I am... From the good people of wrestling and Muslim. <laughs> it's been playing all along that Oscar will debut against Emmett. Look, it was playing all along. Yes. Especially they figured it out Monday. Yep. Uh, what the idea. Yeah, it was playing a year in advance, like Stephanie said. <laughs> Three weeks ago. Yeah. What the idea that they. Well, that story later, I think. Uh, and what the idea that they can have a great match together on pay per view. It was just the idea that they had. Clearly, they never watched the, the first great match. Uh, yeah, um, it will put Oscar Strong as her first pair of match. Yeah, this match is actually just. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this match I actually just reviewed in recent weeks for uh, Takeover to London. Uh, the Takeover London uh, retro reviews we do. Or the retro reviews we do. I had Takeover London. And this was the opening match of that card. Uh, and it was my favorite match of the night. Uh, it, it's my, it's one of my favorite Austin matches. It's either that or her uh, series with Ember. Yeah. Uh, so I think this is a very good call for once from the Raw booking team. And uh, I am look, looking forward to seeing how Emma and Asuka are in the main roster. And I hope that it's even better with partially thinking the booking might possibly be worse. Exactly. I'm actually thinking Emma might win. Uh... She probably will. Would you regret that decision? <laughs> no. I, I love I love that too. I do. However, she shouldn't beat Oscar. <laughs> Billy should. No. <laughs> well, Billy and her current state. At, at this point, the only one on the main roster that should probably beat Oscar is Charlotte. Or Kyrie Singh. Or, or if you somehow are able to get Ronda Rousey in the Ronda. Hell no. I'm not having no celebrity come in and beat my Oscar. You mean one of the toughest women in the world? Yeah, Oscar. Sorry, Rhonda, you'll get tangled. Uh, toughest woman in the world. Rhonda had been looked so tough in her last few UFC fights. And she's got a glass jaw, though. Yeah, she does. That's why. That's why she's coming to WWE, which is smart on her part, but. Just because she's a name, though, and a fan doesn't mean she's going to be good at it. She went all picked up with Shannon. Shannon. Shayna did. I'm just saying. Don't. I don't want people to get their hopes up thinking Ronda's going to be like this big five star. Well, anyway, only per athlete. the only person on the main roster that should beat Asuka is Charlotte at this point. Or a That's the match you should build up to. And I guess if you want to keep them separate for a while and have that match be built down the road, keep them separate. And I guess that's partially the reason why Asuka's on Raw. Uh, but. Charlotte should probably be the only person to beat Oscar. Or Dean. Or uh, at the very least, the first person to beat Oscar. Or Dean. Yeah. 
I watched this once like Amber got cold up and then had her finally beat us from Man for us. Good, yes. That's what I would do, but in this case, Charlotte is the only option mm -hmm. at this point. Or Dana. Not Sasha. Definitely not Bailey. Definitely not Nia. Definitely not Alexa. Definitely not Emma. Definitely not Alicia. Dana? Definitely not Dana. Becky? Not Becky. Carmella? Definitely not. Missy? I'm gonna half say no to it. Natalia? If she was booked better, yes. However, she, she's still not okay. booked Okay, so what you're telling me is only five women on the main roster. Mine's Oscar. That you like. Because they were only, they were soft moves. Charlotte was a yes. Four of them were soft moves. And the rest of them were like, hell no. No, because I... But the rest I, of them were hell no. I said, I said hell no to Emma. And no to Sasha. And I like Emma better right now. Uh, how about Paige? It's pretty much how they're built, how they're built up, and their and their name value. How about Paige? No. Nikki Bella. Talent wise, it's automatically a no. However, she's probably the most notable name in the division. So I'll probably just give her a soft no. Three Bella. On the con. Did she even wrestle anymore? No, I wish she did. Medusa. Medusa, yes. Okay. Trish and the. I want to go for every woman in her history, so we'll be here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have enough storage on your phone. Is it though? To go through all the women in history? Yes. Because I only know, I know all of them. Well, I'm not going to be here until, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, not every woman in history. Yeah. Yes, I'm cool with Asuka and Emma. Speaking of woman in history, Ricochet. Uh, just has a girlfriend named Tessa Blaze here because you have to get over a contract. Oh. <laughs> okay, you barely see that with women. Ah. Uh. But no, no, that's not a knock on Tessa, uh, on her <laughs> lack of femininity or womanhood or whatever. Lack of femininity? Oh cause my Because she is gorgeous. Right. But I'm saying he barely got out Tessa when he mentioned Ricochet. But this is not Ricochet here. <laughs> uh, there's a crucial talk. <laughs> and she's also not women of past either, or history. <laughs> she is. No, she's not history. <laughs> <laughs> she's a woman in modern day history. Ah. Uh, there's a crucial talk <laughs> that Ricochet is coming to WWE sooner rather than later. Yay! <laughs> I, I want to see it. That's why I let a very, very, very soft yay! And on top of that, her dogs are the owners of Lucha Mingo Round. Mm -hmm. Our pitch to the, the show to all networks. El Scythe, El Rey, with the hopes of getting another station to run it. With the same pay to produce it like usual. Is that how to take budget costs? Um. Well, obviously, I'm excited to see Rick Shea sign a WWE contract in the very near future. He's a very exciting performer. Uh, any match you see of his, he's always flipping around. It's very, it's very cool to see. Um, for Lucha Underground, I'm not sure if they're going to get the same deal anywhere else. On the WWE Network. I don't think they would pay them that much. Oh, then they screwed the Lucha Underground. Yeah. Definitely not enough to do their production costs. Oh, of course. Do it to the kids. Do it for the children. All the children should watch Lucha Underground. Wait, never mind. That is shit. Don't make your kids watch Lucha Underground. Katrina eats people. Or kills people. Kills them. She eats them and then deletes them. Matanza literally kills them. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Ah. Uh, yeah, don't let your children watch the Trump drum. Seriously, don't do that. I believe Daria Quito actually kills them. Yeah, yeah, see, don't want to do that. Yeah, I feel like the children grown up, if they're taking a cut, like, 
actually hurt by that. It's just they've become known for amazing production. Yeah. There's definitely season four, it looks like, but it looks like they're going to be hurt by if they don't get another number to, or someone else to offer them. I'm not sure how much their production costs, but it's probably in like the high hundred millions. Dude, he's not even a hundred million production. <laughs> All right, twenty million a year. I don't think they're a hundred hundred million a year in production. Okay, about twenty million. <laughs> a high twenty million from the shot of No. Yes. Well, at the very most, and this is the upper echelon I'm thinking for production. For the underground, it's probably like ten million. Oh, then they can afford. At the very most. Oh, then they can afford. What the hell are you playing? Ah, uh, we got that. We did double for. You have ten million dollars? No, like I got ten dollars to go. They just gotta figure out the rest. Ah, uh, that. <laughs> so they gotta figure out the ninety, that nine million nine hundred thousand. Not. I'm sorry. Nine million nine hundred ninety thousand. Or ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. Yes, that's that's still a lot more dollars they have to care about. Yeah, but on the topic of birthdays, not only is it was it Aguirre's birthday, not only is Super Cal's birthday on February twenty second, and remember that that week, yes, we will wish Super Cal a belated birthday. Uh, I'm sure Joe will remember it. Yes, but but today was also Ricochet's birthday. It was actually Ricochet's birthday. Yes. Then? No. Wait, hold on, I got my date. Wait, I might got my date wrong. This week was definitely Ricochet's birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Ricochet. Yeah, it was definitely this week. And we hope nothing but good things for you. When we talk about him in the next few videos, during the reviews, well, I'll bring it up. <laughs> NXT. Just go. Alright, and move. And our big story of the week. Yep. Neville reportedly walked out on WWE before Roll this week. Uh, rumors are flying around regarding Neville Sash WWE at this point after he missed this week's episode of Money Roll and then the final night's nice episode of 205 Live. Uh, those rumors indicate that he quit the promotion, WWE, and, and plans for both shows had to be changed in the last because of it. There are a few reports of the situation floating around. Per Russell Sheep notes that Neville was the original one originally set for Plumber Jack Mash. That happened in the main event of Roll this week and he was scheduled to lose. He walked out before the show started and Callisto was moving to that spot and as you saw he was put to win the title. The rest of the results report I never walked out before a roll while adding that those currently denying that he quit the couple. Dave Meltzer reported that as I'm worried the Callisto match was supposed to happen until TLC. Uh, there's those rumors going around that he's uh, walked out because of not, he won't be getting royalties on the WrestleMania DVD. As of now, no one's the one to go on record of any reporter or any speculation on what may have closed down when we walk out. He's been quiet on social media dating back to September 20th. Uh, and we'll update you here on the channel as more news becomes available. Uh, I did read another one that said he didn't, act, he didn't actually walk out. He actually wasn't there. Oh. Uh, he also wasn't there for the weekend house shows either. Oh. Uh, but he had, but I did hear that he actually did request his release. Uh, and the primary reason they gave was that he would not get royalties off the WrestleMania DVD because his match actually wasn't going to be on. Uh, that and also thinking about it now, on the network, the pre-show is separate from the actual WrestleMania. Actual WrestleMania. Yeah. And the and if you go. Years in the future, who's going to go back and actually watch the pre-show for the pay-per-view? Besides the man to my right. But you won't watch what, that. Which normal person would go, like, five years from now, go back to watch the pre-show of it? Not not you. No, no actual normal people. Who won't watch that match again? It was a good match. Not so yes. you have to watch the whole two-hour pre-show. No. I'll talk about that match. It was a good match. But when you think WrestleMania... Uh, uh, I'm going to go watch the WrestleMania. Are you actually going to start with the pre-show? Well, that match, yes. Because that was the first match. And it's a memorable first match. 
But what I'm saying is, if you're going to watch that mania, are you actually going to watch the pre-show? No. But yes. You would. But would you see normal people actually go back and watch the pre-show? Well, they're right there. You're trying to convince me to be normal. I'm not convincing you to be normal. You're trying to... Because I know you're going to watch it. You'll watch it anyway. You're trying to, to convince me that there's normal people out there. And if you're normal, I feel bad for you. Be different. Be unique. Be like me. He's your guy, no. Or be like him. Be like us. Be like no one. Right. Uh, oh, we might have this for an hour. Yeah, yeah, advertisement for the game, because it's already out. Well, yes. I'll let you order it for the WWE shop then. He, he's <laughs> ordered it. I, I haven't I haven't ordered it or purchased it yet, so. I'll let you order it for the WWE shop then. We're all waiting, because the WWE shop is stock they keep from going yes. back. Uh, well, well, anyway, getting back to Neville. Yes, I mean, I can't... He's not actually getting a royalties from... For being on the appreciated main. I will watch. That's been a very big point of contention with him. Uh, and I know the report also seen that he actually has wanted to quit for a while now. What? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Why? Uh, sorry. But because he wasn't going to get paid. I wonder how cares about that. For being here. <laughs> he was and the state of the career league division was fine. In, in the month of September. In the month of September, it was fine. In the month of September, yeah. Well, there you go. But there's an awfully long way between Mania of, of last year and September. No, not Mania of last year. I don't know what year it was. It was WrestleMania of this year. WrestleMania 3rd for this year. Okay, WrestleMania of this year to September. It's not that long. The years fly by. It feels like just yesterday it was WrestleMania. And we were sitting here discussing doing this with you people. It was five months. So I mean, look how fast it was. It was five months, maybe, maybe six. If you weren't gonna pay for WrestleMania DVDs, I actually think that's a stupid reason. Because honestly, well, that and how the cruiserweights also get treated too. Well, that's a good reason. Uh, the the WrestleMania DVD, hence it's the word DVD. DVDs aren't that big, right? Now. Wrestling DVDs aren't like a big thing. WrestleMania is their highest selling DVD usually. Yeah, but WWE DVDs aren't that huge anymore. I'm pretty sure for high sell DVD though, it's still good. The sales are still down though. Overall, it's still down, but if you're gonna, but if you're selling DVDs, that's the one you want to be on. No, you don't. Hey, you do. No, you don't. Yes, they're high selling DVD of the year. You don't want to be on. That just about every year. Yeah, but you don't want to be on. Yeah. You want to be on your own DVD. Like in a few years, we'll be having best of DVD on this show. Ah. Uh, God help you all. Uh, no. But, uh, ne Neville is a big loss to the company, unlike Summer Rae. Uh, <laughs> because this was actually one that could graduate from the Cruiserweight doldrums and go to the big car or the main event seat. I mean, you have Brock and Jinder as your champions, and Neville quitting the company. Guys like Neville and Austin Aries are walking out of the company. Guys like Brock and Jinder are your main chinks. Figure it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to get past the fun, fun, deserved summer race shot there. Oh, uh, well, summer's useless in this case. Uh, uh, you looked at me when you did it too. The Neville and Jimmy Jacobs are actually two huge losses in terms of creativity yes. and talent. Summer's been going for like a year. Uh, now this is just all about, about to be confirmed by the end of the year. The, yeah. uh, Neville leaving because of his spot, I don't blame him if they can. Because now Neville is going to take his ball and do what Cody did, if we're currently doing, do what Drew McIntyre did, if he doesn't complain about the maybe, which I don't think he is. And he's going to become even bigger on the Indies. And then in five years from now, Here's the money. Here's the money and the push we should get. We should give you five years ago if you saved the cruise with the Well, and, well. Anyway, uh, I don't think if that's true. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's the only one. 
is planning to do a Cody Lake move from WWE to the NBC. No. Uh, I think there's a f- there's probably gonna be, there's probably a few other people. Um, John Cena, Randy Orton, no, AJ no. Styles, no. Shinsuke Nakamura, maybe. Braun, no. Samoa Joe, all the Shield. Braun, you think Samoa Joe? No. Some maybe Samoa Joe. Yeah, it's gonna be. Real? Yeah. Yeah, that mistreatment of being Rolls top heel. Or second top heel. It was terrible. Well, he was also kicked off the Okay. He's, he's brought in before. The people were right there. Yeah. And he's kept off the Mania. And up until he got injured, was one of the biggest pushes in the company. Yeah. I'm. By the way, people aren't just going to leave because of one DVD royalty. No, but I'm saying... In Samoa Joe's case, though, he knows he's not going to get no royalties from it, though. Because he wasn't on WrestleMania. Yeah. Blank, period. Like, it's not like he was on the kickoff in the Battle Royal. Samoa Joe's not going to leave WWE because of the royalties. Because he knows he wasn't on Mania. <laughs> so he's not going to be mad about the DVD. Make, keep making money off the DVD. No, he's going to be mad about not being on Mania. Okay, so he just works harder right, for WrestleMania this year. <laughs> to get a good spot next year. But it work. doesn't mean he's not thinking about his options. Doesn't mean he's actually going to leave. But I think he might Honestly, there wasn't no, nowhere for Joe to go that one this year. Besides interference. Yeah. And a separate waist rush. Yes. Unless you want to have to get her feet between Joe and Fit. Um, right. That w- it wouldn't be the worst option, no. But thrown together in WrestleMania. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> not everybody's going to leave. It's not going to be some major marsh. Because there's also the fact that you're in WWE and you're going to pay good money. Somebody like Neville, I hate to say, but being in the Cruiserweight division, probably wasn't getting paid as much as he should. No. But somebody in Samoa Joe's position would be stupid to walk away from what he's probably getting paid. Yeah, that's true. Uh, if you're told about somebody like Dolph, who's just been mistreated over the course of the last decade almost. Yes. Then, yeah, then that, that, Dallas definitely leaving. And he's going to be doing what Cody and Neville did, it's about to do. Yes. But... What Drew did as well. Yeah, Drew did, yeah. But... What, Jin, what strangely Jinder did, apparently. Well, Jinder didn't do that. Jinder half-assed it. He didn't yeah. do like Cody or McIntyre. He didn't but complain, he's... but I, I didn't hear nothing from him. Yeah, it, <laughs> I knew he worked a few indies, I heard. Yeah. And then they signed him back for reasons. Yeah. But bully And me. now he's the WWE champion. Believe me, nobody else... There are a couple of other people, but you, you're you going to tell me everybody that was on that kickoff then is... will have to be pissed. I'm sure they're all pissed about the royalties. Oh, yeah. But I doubt everybody on that kickoff is going to walk off because of that. Be close to that because you're talking about 35 stars about between the three matches. And I don't see a list of Braun walking off or Big Show or Sami Zayn or Dean Ambrose. Well, if I was Dean and Barrett, I'd be pissed. Well, I'd be pissed because they got moved last minute. I would yeah. be pissed. But you don't see them walking. Dean, definitely not. No. Corbin, if you don't look. Dean, they actually probably would have. They probably give him that show for Mania, since he's one of the bigger names. Right. So the, they're so he probably somehow got paid for it. So the, Same what, thing with Braun and probably Big Show. So while I do believe in that, that part of Neville's story. I don't fully believe that's the only reason. You're going to get made because you're not on DVD. It may it may actually be the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, I mean, ends up losing to Enzo and Roll and not title match definitely. Not finding out that you're probably not going to get pushed out of Cruiserweight Division and only different Cruiserweight Division, definitely. Yeah. I will say that the Cruiserweight Division did lose their top two guys that could have broken out of Cruiserweight Division to give the division a name in Neville and Aries. They did lose their top two. I also wonder if that was also a contributing factor of Aries, Aries. as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because the two that could easily made it onto the all parts of the roster are now both... But one's gone, and yeah. one looks like he has one foot out the door, or both foot out the door, or just waiting for WWE. And it's a point of contention with it, with uh, Neville. 
Uh, I've always heard Ares is definitely a lot more hot headed than the novel. novel. Yeah, Ares always heard though. No, they were they were going to wait to release them, mm -hmm. but they wanted to just get rid of him because him and Creative bought it heads. Okay. So clearly, Jimmy Jacobs wasn't booking the first release. No. Ares, because Ares is a wrestler. He yeah. didn't feel in soap opera school. Just saying. Soap opera writing classes. Uh, but that's it. If anybody believes a man quit cause, just because of DVDs, no. It, they break the camel's back more than likely. But I'm just saying there's a lot of people that are going to be pissed at the rock and that are going to be a paycheck. Yeah. Right. Which they might think he is. Yeah. Now, I can see all Cruiserweights leaving down the line if the division still don't start picking up steam. Oh, uh, oh, I see. This could be easily the uh, the thing that elates the uh, fuse. And that's why I say... That blows up the dynamite that is known as the Cruiserweight division. I say burn down, I say burn down the Cruiserweight division, but I keep the stars on the shows, but... Spread them out between the two free burners and just get rid of the division at this point. I'd say just move it to NXT. I don't and if, since you were thinking about having, you were kind of kicking around the idea of a secondary title on NXT, most of your NXT guys can fit into the uh, cruiserweight label yeah. of being 205 pounds or under. I, I, or at least very close to it. I was just trying to figure out what they were thinking that the cruiserweights were going to appeal to the casual corrals. No. The cruiserweight classic was clearly made for the hardcore fan base. Exactly. Not the casuals. Oh, exactly. Well, I'll do this week for the news. Up next, uh, our rollers smacked over here. Yep. See you then.